Good morning and welcome to the continuation of my unpacking series. I think that's what it's gonna be because basically that's what I'm doing. Behind me is our dining room table and it is covered in boxes that I packed up for our move and they all need to be put into these china cabinets over here. I wanna get the table cleared off because I don't have a desk and I need a place that I can work instead of my computer and for right now it's gonna be this table but I can't work in here because this table is covered in stuff so I've kind of been working my way around the house this is not my first project it's the first project I'm vlogging so I have done a couple of other projects around the house I did get the book boxes moved out of the front office and they have been moved upstairs so they're ready for um, the library to be put together but that's probably not going to happen until next week to be quite honest with you and then i organized a closet already but anyway those are really pretty quick projects this one i think is going to take all day long let me show you what i'm working with so here's a better view of the china cabinets emma did a bunch of work in here and she unpacked a lot of stuff but um, there's still more to be unpacked, more to be put away, and I'm gonna try to make it look nice. I honestly don't remember what it looked like in the previous house. I could go back and look at the vlog that I filmed, you know, because I did show before of the packing video, but I don't think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna try to make it all fit in here and look pretty. Um, some of these things, like this one, is too big, too wide, so it's gonna have to be like stood up at an angle or something. I'm not sure if these are gonna go in here or if they're gonna go into the kitchen cabinets. We have several like Christmas cookie jars over there. And then I think there's another one in here. So the point is I need to make this stuff fit in here and honestly, I think I'm gonna be able to do it. I think it's all gonna be just fine. Um, there's stuff in here that is not organized so what I need to do, I think, first is, ooh, I don't know what I want to do first. What I might do is deal with these plates first, because um, I have kind of fiddled around with this, and I don't like all of this stuff on one shelf. It makes me nervous. So I'm going to work in here first, probably, but wait, what about this guy? So this is our wine rack, and if you watched my shopping vlog, which was the last video that went up on this channel, you saw... Mom and I went to the container store and bought three more of these. Now this box up here just has like the little pins in it. So I call this Tinker Toys because that's basically what it is, but it, the box on top just has a bunch of these. Um, we don't have any pegs, we just have the little pins. So we bought those kits because I want to expand this and make it fit nicer in this gap here. I may start there and get my frustrations out. Um, I think I might begin there because I want to get those off the table. Also, I have set up a computer and I've got NCIS on Paramount Plus ready to play. So also, how cute are my little cookie jars? We've got a big fat Santa cookie jar and then we have a Nutcracker cookie jar and the one in that one is a snowman. So cute. So anyway, I looking at it, I think it's all going to fit just fine. I think it's all going to be okay. I am going to deal with this stuff eventually, but this is not my priority today. It might happen, but it might not happen. So if it does happen, I'm happy. If it doesn't happen, I'm not going to force it. But first priority is getting this table cleared off and everything put in there. So in all of my packing videos for the move, I did a lot of music over sped up footage. And that was kind of boring. I might do some voiceover over some of this just to kind of talk you through my pro my thought process of organizing stuff in our china cabinets and trying to make it look nice. So I might do some voiceover kind of stuff. There's gonna be more music. Honestly, I can't tell you what to expect. I don't know how long these videos are gonna be. I really have no idea. Um, so we're just gonna go through this together and yeah, we're gonna work through it at the same time, sort of. I'm gonna edit all these videos and then you'll watch them and you'll know what to expect because I kind of think they're all gonna be very similar unless I do 
a Q and A for one, which could be kind of fun. But anyway, um, yeah, there, there you go. If you have any questions you want me to answer in a Q and A video, put those in the comment section, and I will try to get to those in a video soon ish. I don't know. I can't promise anything. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get started because my day is already getting away from me. I have done a bunch of stuff this morning already, but it's like 11 o'clock. I stopped at Starbucks on my way back home and there are four shots of espresso in here. So I think that I'm going to have enough power to get all this done. And I'm honestly really, really excited for this. I think it's going to feel great. One more thing before I actually put the camera down because I have something I want to ask you guys. We need a light fixture in here because the house didn't come with one. We need a light fixture in the dining room. We need a light fixture in the living room and we need a light fixture in the kitchen. We also have pendant light um, caps, I guess, so we could do pendant lights too. So my question is, where do you buy light fixtures? Like where, where do you buy them? What kind of style do you like? How much is appropriate to spend? Does quality matter? Can we get them from Wayfair? I've only ever dealt with boob lights and I detest boob lights. So we want to get something different and I want something in the dining room because there's no light in here other than natural light. So that's the only light fixture in here. So I want something bright in the dining room. The breakfast nook doesn't have to be quite so bright. The living room, I want a flush mount. So I want a bunch of stuff. Also, does it have to be like cohesive? I'm asking you guys because I know what I think, but I'm really curious what you guys think. So I would appreciate any feedback that you can give me in a comment. I'm not saying I'm going to follow it because we've got some picked out. I just, you know, I want to run, you know, all of, I want to run through all of my advice first. Like I want to ask everyone that I can what they think that we should get and you know, what kind of fixtures and how much we should spend because like some of them are really cheap, like less than a hundred dollars and some of them are stupid expensive and I can't imagine spending that much money. So I'm just asking for your input and your opinions and your advice if you're willing to share. But now I'm going to get started and I've decided I am going to start on the Tinker Toys thing. I think it sounds really fun, like a really great way to get started on this. So I'm going to start there. And that's exactly what I did. So I laid out some cardboard to kind of cushion the project from the floor because we do have a tile floor. And then I started hammering the wooden dowels into the wooden pegs. Now, 16 of the wooden pegs comes in one box and our wine rack is 16 pegs high. It is modular. You can make this any shape or size that you want. We've added onto this so many different times. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm making what looks like a tall ladder and this is going to be another vertical column for our wine rack because I'm making it a little bit wider. So I, we bought three of these kits. I made three of these vertical ladder type things and then I hammered the dowel pins into the wine rack and then I laid the ladder type thing on top and hammered it into place and you know I just repeated that three times to make it the size that I was going for starting to look a little bit like a hot mess because I have been working on this. But I have a problem and I'm gonna share this with you because it's really irritating. It's not the end of the world, but I can't finish this project because I'm missing four dowel pins. Like, okay, so these are the dowel pins and I need four more. And then I can add this. This is what I'm calling a layer. So it will fit. I did, I've stood it up and sized it, and this will fit in this gap over here perfectly, and I'm really excited about that, but I can't put it in yet, well I can't finish it, until I get four more dowel pins. Now what frustrates me is I have one dowel pin left, and this one I can't use because it's too loose. This is really irritating to me that I only have one spare. Why did they not provide? Because like these are the kinds of things that would break, right? I feel like there should be at least four in every pack of one of these that are just spares. So I had three boxes. 
I've used all but one pin. I had some leftover pins. Like honestly, if I didn't have leftover pins from the other box, I would need an entirely new pack of pins just to finish this project. So I'm frustrated because they didn't provide everything. I feel like I'm missing an entire pack of pins. They're, like that's gotta be it. Anyway, rant over. Um, I got all my frustrations out on that before I was even frustrated, so I feel okay. And now it is 12.45. I've been at this for a long time. I do really like the way that I did this though. Um, so I made like the long layer and then I stuck the dowel pins in the top of this and then nail or hammered the layer into the top. And I think that worked because sometimes I have a problem trying to put the dowel pins in both directions so I really like the way I did this but now I think I'm actually gonna get started on clearing off the table I've made a huge dent on the table just getting rid of those boxes so it's really exciting and I'm I feel really good about this I really do I was kind of losing steam a little bit um, earlier last week just thinking about all the stuff I needed to do and today has really been it's made me feel good it's made me happy so I'm excited so yep I'm gonna get started on the dishes I might just leave this here for now because depending on how the table goes I might just go to Lowe's in a few minutes or you know when I finish the table and go to Lowe's to get some more dolphins so I can finish this you know what I mean I think you're following me anyway I'm gonna deal with this first and then I'll finish dealing with that. I have company. Um, I've unboxed everything on the table. There was actually a box of Christmas stuff on the table that is full, it's like nativity pieces, and so it's not gonna go in here. So I have everything unwrapped, unpacked, opened up. I've seen everything, and I think I can make it all fit in here. We have some really cool stuff. We do have some really cool stuff. Like, Things you know what? bring us joy. Yeah, I'm gonna turn on the camera and Emma and I are gonna show you some of our favorite things just because they're really cool. We have some really cool stuff. Not gonna brag, but I kinda love this chips and dip chiefs <laughs> tray. That one's really cool. 100% agree. Also, this. this. We have a bunch of stuff from with that pattern on the china. This is Spode. That's one of my favorite things. Forgive me while I clang a whole bunch of stuff together. Also, we were talking about these shot glasses. We got them from Medieval Times, and they are the cool, one of the coolest things we own. So they can that. sit up, like upside down, like a shot glass, or like this, and you can see the dragon. I just think they're so cool. I also found all of the mugs, coffee mugs, for our different china sets. Um, and then the Hocus Pocus shot glasses. Where are they? Oh, these. We got four of them. I actually got them on sale when I went to a Halloween city or party city. And no, no, that's the Halloween store. Whatever. Spirit yeah. Halloween? Yes, Spirit Halloween store. Um, I think last year, last year, yeah. Goodbye, cruel world. Binks is my boo. Amuck, amuck, amuck. Witches be crazy. And I just think they're so cute. I got them on sale and I'm really glad I got them, honestly. They bring me a lot of joy. We have two sets of skull mugs, or shot glasses. One big, one small. Two sets of Santa boots. Also these, this set of six came from TJ Maxx and I love them. Oh, and the Chiefs mugs are really cute. Yeah, these are pretty cool. They're like teeny tiny little Chiefs steins. Really cool. So anyway, oh. we've got mugs, mugs, cookie jars, some platters, but I think that it's all gonna be able to, these aren't gonna go in there. I was using those to open boxes. But anyway, I think I'll be able to make it all fit in these, make it all look pretty. So I'm gonna set up the camera again, and you guys are gonna get to watch me do this like really, really fast. When I began with the china cabinets, I started with the glasses, and I like to have all of the glasses together in the same place. I really hate hunting and pecking through the china cabinets looking for a glass for beer or wine or a shot or some sort of mixed cocktail. So I like to have the different types of glasses in there together so that they're easy to find. Same thing with the shot glasses. I kind of like having 
the sizes and the sets together just because it makes me feel happy. Then I started dividing up the china cabinet or the shelves for the actual china. I There was just a lot of weight on that one shelf and it made me kind of nervous and a little uncomfortable. So I wanted to make it all look nice, but I also wanted the china on two different shelves instead of one shelf. I struggled a little bit with our platters because some of them are bigger, larger than the china cabinets are deep. And so I was struggling to find a way to get them to fit in there, but I finally found a way to get them all in there and a couple of them are vertical, but they're secure and safe. The other china cabinets, the ones closest to the window, um, I decided I wanted to put all of our Christmas stuff in there. It's not full of Christmas stuff, but I do have pitchers and vases and the rest of our Christmas dishes are in that china cabinet and it all fit beautifully and I'm very, very happy with the way that it looks. All right, it's done. It looks really cluttered. That's because it is. We have a lot of stuff, but I'm actually really, really happy with the way that it turned out. I think it's going to be really, really functional. Um, so much of this stuff needs to be washed, but now it all has a place. And I can close the doors. Ta-da! I'm really happy. I think it looks great. Are you happy? Me? Yes, you. I'm very happy. I think it's amazing. So, this is not done yet. It needs to go over there when it is done. But, look at the table. We have a dining table. We have a table. table. Now, these are salt and pepper shakers. And I think they're gonna go somewhere else. It's not actually Ulta. It's fragile, salt and pepper, so. We just put it in an Ulta box. Well, I packed it, so yes. But anyway, we have a table, and I can actually work here and do homework here and set up my computer here, and I think it's gonna be really nice. So I think that's gonna be it for this vlog. I've had enough. I'm sure you guys have had enough. That's gonna be it. They're done. And you guys will see me in another vlog really, really soon.